Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning into our March issue of Inside Darley. Perhaps like you, I've really enjoyed watching the Winter Olympics over the last couple of weeks, and it's really what struck me is here's little Norway and these other Scandinavian countries that are doing so well and running away with all these medals, and what's that all about? And as I began to research it, I noticed that actually Norway is the top Winter Olympic medal winner of all time, so it's not really just a total outlier. There's something here that's going on, particularly when you compare them to the United States, which is 65 times larger, or China, which is 200 160 times larger you know what's going on there and I you know this could be way out there but I think part of it might have to do with their happiness level we all know it worked that happy employees are productive and are, are, are productive employees and perhaps that same thing is taking place here with the Olympics and in fact our first attachment here is the 2017 world happiness report the five top countries are Norway Denmark Iceland Switzerland uh, Finland number six is ne the Netherlands our friends to the north in Canada are number seven and the United States is number 14. The other superpowers, Russia's 49, China's bumped up to 79, and India's 122. But as you look at this, there seems to be some correlation between maybe their, their lifestyle and their happiness style that, that uh, is, is part of that Denmark success. We see the same thing when we look at the International Fire Service. And in fact, our second attachment here is a, uh, is a, uh, a study that was just recently published by the Department of Homeland Security, DHS. It's called the International Forum to Advance First Responsibility responder innovation. And as you look at this, the study went and looked at uh, first responders at fire, EMS, and law enforcement in 14 countries around the world. And they saw that the, the budget for these 14 countries was $433 billion. There were 7.5 million first responders involved in that. And as you look at it, two, the, the firefighter group has two times as many uh, first responders than the EMS or the law enforcement, but the law enforcement gets three times the amount of money as firefighters. But you can also see correlations here in terms of budgets, both in terms of the number of firefighters or first responders per capita as well as what they're spending on their, their budgets. And as you look at that first responder per capita, here in the United States, there's 9.5 uh, firefighters or first responders, rather, per thousand, or that's one in every 100 people here in America as a first responder. And that's uh, that's pretty significant. The other thing that we've, the uh, other study there, and our third attachment here was just recently put out by the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. It's called the Fire Service Technology Summit that took place in 2017. And as you're reading the executive survey, here, the main thing that they came out and they said, we've got a, the main, the main takeaway was that they said, we need to identify and find companies to engage who are startups, uh, academia, and make sure that we're involving early adopters in uh, evolving technology. And I'll tell you, that's exactly what we've been doing here at Darley with our smart technology, smartfirefighting.com under our We Respond uh, platform. So we encourage you to check that out. We've also recently just partnered with Texas A&M on their, con uh, as a, one of their sponsors of their um, response innovation showdown, which is taking place March 8th through the 9th. That's just coming up this next week. So if you're a manufacturer or an entrepreneur slash firefighter, who has some ideas, we'd encourage you to check out these websites. And along the same line, just a little bit of a teaser for FDIC, which is April 26th to the 28th, Darley's going to be introducing some very cool virtual reality, that's VR, and augmented reality firefighting systems for fire training that are going to really be world change, really uh, uh, world changing. And it's going to be primarily for our DOD customers as well as Fire Academy customers here in North America. So be sure to stop by our booth and check that out. But we'll tell you more about that in the April issue of Inside Darley. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to assist you, we hope you'll reach out to us.